Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this first clip in a series, we will outline why bagginess may be the greatest challenge in the web industries. It will be followed by a dozen more clips that will provide troubleshooting answers using many tools including studies of successful case histories. Bagginess can cause quite a range of difficulties from aesthetics to wrinkling and these will trouble most webs. Bagginess is also troubling to any tension sensitive process such as calendaring, coding, slitting, winding and many others because bagginess is a variation of tension across the width of the web. The web does not know and does not care whether the lack of tension or excessive tension in that lane is caused by tension settings, tension control problems, roller misalignment, and or bagginess. In addition to economics, bagginess also presents special challenges to the troubleshooter. It is hard to measure, hard to troubleshoot, and it may be hard to fix the offending element once you figure out which one it is. Occasionally, there may be more than one root cause for bagginess in a single web. For these reasons and more, the failure rate in industry and effective troubleshooting is near certain. Perhaps the worst part of this situation is that there is almost nothing effective you can do to run baggy webs with less trouble than you are already having. True, you can try different tensions, shorten spans, and try adding effective spreading. But, as you've already found out, that did not get you very far. Also, it is very important to make sure that you don't make the problem any worse by problems with mechanical and control precisions as we thoroughly described in the first morning and first afternoon of Web 101 respectively. Still, that only makes sure you don't add to the problem. It does nothing to improve the situation when you already have a good machine. This means, in quite practical terms, if the boss is looking for volunteers for the baggy web team, don't raise your hand. Also, if you are a buyer of bagginess, don't buy it anymore. Don't make someone else's problem your own. Too late, you say? You already got volunteered. Too late, you say? You are the one making bagginess and you have no choice but to improve the profile else risking losing customers. Okay, then don't give up, but be prepared for a difficult process requiring very organized and creative thinking that has, unfortunately, no recipe for you to follow to find the root cause problem mechanics. Before we get started, we must be very clear about the goal of this process. It is not first, as the boss or customer might have it, to fix the problem. Trying to fix the problem before you truly understand it is not a recipe for success. Instead, Think of trying first to identify the element that is a profile problem that resembles the profile shape of bagginess. Then try to bend that shape of that candidate element and see if the response is to change the shape of the bagginess in a predicted way. Finally, if you get an appropriate response, verify the offending member with several independent lines of evidence. Thank you so very much for watching this module and my plant practical video clips. Stay tuned for the next clip in this series where we will talk about the first step in bagginess troubleshooting, that is, seeing and perhaps measuring bagginess.